You see, Lamar Jackson, you can give us an infinite number of amazing plays, and he has given us a lot of amazing plays over the years. You can give us a lot of funny moments that you've given us and a lot of pressures over the years and whatnot and on the sideline. Uh, and you can give a lot of us Ravens fans joy from all of the different plays that he's made with other Ravens players and whatnot. But the one thing I will not tolerate right now from you, you, Lamar Jackson, you, you better not mess around and give me hope. Don't mess around and give me hope with this whole situation, man. Don't mess around and do it because you're playing with my emotions big time here, buddy. Lamar Jackson, being who Lamar Jackson is. He knows the situation right now. He knows the Ravens got Odell Beckham Jr. Of course he knows. But this is what he did. First, he posted on his story. He posted a picture of him FaceTiming Odell Beckham Jr. Was it a recent FaceTime or was it a FaceTime from the past? We don't know. But we do know the timing of him putting this picture up or putting that story up. It was no coincidence because the Ravens just officially signed Odell Beckham Jr. But then... Stories, they expire in 24 hours. Stories expire every 24 hours, so it will go away. But guess what Lamar Jackson did? Lamar Jackson posted that same, him and Odell Beckham Jr. FaceTiming, he posted it not as a story, but as an actual post, as a picture. Just so he made sure it stayed there, he made sure everybody sees it. Lamar Jackson, why are you playing with us, man? Why, why, are you playing, why are you playing with us? You know what? Not even everybody else. Why, why are you playing with me right now? For what? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing it? Because you know I've been saying, hey, my doubts are high right now. When it comes to Lamar Jackson returning to the Baltimore Ravens, my doubts are high. I say it all the time. It could happen. It's possible that it may go down, but I got my doubts. Now, the same thing was said from me about Odell Beckham Jr. Because as Ravens fans, especially with it being a wide receiver, like, that's who we used to. That's who we used to. Oh, Ravens are interested. Ravens pursued. Ravens offered a competitive contract, but the player ends up choosing somewhere else. So that's, uh, that's why I doubted the whole Odell Beckham Jr. thing. Even though the Ravens have been interested for a super long time. But now they, they closed the deal. But now, like, does this mean what we think it means? Does this mean what we think it could mean between Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens? Oof, man. And, and you see, I was going to wait to talk about this till tomorrow, but after he posted it as a picture, and then I saw this from Jordan Schultz. Jordan Schultz said, Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham Jr. have had multiple conversations during OBJ's free agency about, okay, no, that's the first part. So they've had multiple conversations while Odell Beckham Jr. has been a free agent. But it says it was about teaming up together. Odell Beckham Jr. is on the team right now. Lamar Jackson is not. So, I mean, he's not off the Ravens, but he's also not on the Ravens. He's like in limbo. But let's keep going. Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham Jr. have had multiple conversations during OBJ's free agency about teaming up together and winning a Super Bowl with the Ravens, according to sources familiar with the situation. There's still business to handle with Lamar, but this is a significant step. And boy, hell boy, that is significant for sure. And I got to be honest. This is crazy how a picture, a picture alone, no words, no captions, no song lyrics, nothing. But a picture alone can change so much so fast. Because Lamar knows what, he do, what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's smart. Very smart. And Lamar Jackson, as he has shown us, he is a very calculated individual. He knows the timing of stuff. He knows when to put it. He knows how to put it. He knows that every single thing that he does is garnering the attention of so many different people, especially Ravens fans. 
He knows they're watching. He knows they're waiting. He knows they're anticipating everything. And especially, he knows they're waiting to hear what he had to say, how he felt about Odell Beckham Jr. being signed. So with him posting this picture of him and Odell Beckham Jr., I think we all know that he likes it. But now, what's that next step going to be? This, this picture, it, it, it almost got me feeling like... Could this be the week? Could 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 this actually be the week where I, I don't know, man. Could it could it be the week? They closed one deal. They got him a guy who has been like that before. We'll see, see if he's still like that. But could, <laughs> Ravens don't no 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 not even Ravens because this ain't Ravens doing. This is Lamar. Lamar, don't mess with me, man. You you playing, man. You playing. You really playing. But I, I really do hope that this means what I think it does for Lamar and them Ravens. I really hope so. Because, man, if, because I know there have been a lot of people talking about rebuild mode and retooling and da 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 da. If the Ravens traded Lamar, and that would be unfortunate. But that is the direction that I did see the Ravens heading in. Because y'all know me, I kept saying it and I have been saying it, that I got my doubts about Ravens and Lamar coming to agreement. And if I had to pick some, I, I think they would trade them. But this, Lamar, what, what you doing, my friend? If the Ravens, if Eric DeCosta and if Steve Bishotti, if they can close this deal with Lamar, that can change so much about this offseason. And that will put the Ravens in such a better place. Such a better place. Oh, man. Now, they still ain't done yet. They still got more moves to be made besides the draft. Both before and after the draft. They still got more work to do. Even if they do re-sign Lamar. But re-signing Lamar would be huge because it would change everything. You know, so many people are looking around at this situation right now. So many players... So many teams, so there's so many everybody looking at this situation right now. Like, okay, hey, Ravens, they signed Odell Beckham. Cool. That's so unraven like. Especially the money that they gave. 15 mil guarantee. Ooh. <laughs> Couldn't even get that second whistle off. That's, that's how crazy the 15 mil guarantee was. Let me try it again. <laughs> nope. That whistle ain't happening right now. So I gotta drop it. Like the Ravens dropped that bread on Odell Beckham Jr. 15 mil guarantee for a wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. That's un that's unheard of. That got to be a record, right, for the Ravens? To give a, a, a receiver a 15 mil guarantee in one, in, in, all in one year? I think what is like a 13-something million dollar signing bonus? In, uh, but 15 mil guarantee all in one year for a wider CD. But who are these Baltimore Ravens? Could there be? May there be a slight philosophy shift? Uh, let's see. We'll see. Still paying attention closely to y'all. I ain't buying it all the way yet. Like this, this is a big first step though. Odell Beckham Jr. Todd Munkin, for me, it'll be seeing is believing. Cause yeah, we heard about everything that he did in the past and whatnot. But okay, let's see what the Ravens let him do. But um, this this is Todd Munkin moving off of Giro and going to Todd Munkin, a step in the right direction. All right, cool. Bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. and Nelson Aguilar, too. And it's like with Nelson Aguilar, it's like they, they upgraded the depth at wide receiver. They upgraded the depth there. So it's like, okay, cool. But now with Odell Beckham, they, they upgrade the bottom depth. But now with Odell Beckham Jr., they upgrade the top depth. So if you can, hmm, you can really close this thing off with Lamar. That would do wonders, wonders for this team. And people who have been watching and waiting and anticipating what you're going to do with Lamar, they'll be like, oh, okay, they did it. They made it happen. They finally locked him up. He got his deal. Ravens keep their guy. Everybody can move forward now. But I, I still can't help but think about what if the Ravens hit us with a swerve? What if Lamar hit us with a swerve? Because we know he said goodbye to the fans and stuff. See y'all later. Oh, yeah, they don't value me. 
And that was a scary moment. It really was. I was like, oh my goodness, is Lamar going to leave? Oh, it was, it was sad. It was very sad. Um, but, but money can change all that. <laughs> Pay somebody the right bread. They say, oh, let me, let me delete my goodbye letter. Yeah, it's out of here. Okay, don't, don't even worry about that. Okay, I'm, I'm back. So hopefully that's what we get from Lamar Jackson. So we'll see. Now we just got to wait it out. But like this, that picture just, it, it got me feeling like there's been a shift. There's been a big shift. Because Lamar got to be looking at this one like, wow, oh, wow, y'all actually did it. I know y'all were trying. I know y'all have been talking about it. I know y'all been interested in Odell Beckham Jr. Y'all even offered him a contract, but y'all actually did it. Y'all closed the deal. And especially with the timing of it too. He was flying out of New York tomorrow. But Ravens say, no, we flying into you today. You know, you're here, buddy. And one thing, they cannot, in my opinion, you cannot have an Odell Beckham Jr. introductory press conference until the Lamar thing is solved. You can't, in my opinion. If you're going to have a press conference, you got to have Lamar locked up too. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. You got to. And I know a lot of people have been saying, well, Odell Beckham Jr., he must have talked to Lamar or whatnot. He, he must know something that we don't know because he signed. That could be true. We hope that that's true. But it could be true. But Ravens also paid him a lot of bread. So regardless of what he knows or what he don't know, one thing that he does know, Ravens paid him a lot of money for one year. A lot of money. And then I know Brian McFarlane, the guy who breaks down the, the Ravens salary cap, and he does an excellent job of it in detail. You want to ever learn about a salary cap, you can go to him. But he said that there must be like four, four void years on the deal, something like that. Now, the void, year, the void years, I'm not sure. Still, I got to get clarif more clarification on how they work because that's something that still confuses me, how the void years work. I know you can add them on to sort of move money around and whatnot, lessen the cap hit and whatnot. But then I know when you add them on, depending on how the contract is, after the first year of the contract, it can be a lot of dead money. It's just I don't know how the void years work. But... Ravens paid Odell a lot of money. Hopefully they paid him a lot of money to team up with Lamar Jackson. But only time will truly tell. So Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Lamar, even though you're trolling us right now, even though you're trolling, I feel like you're trolling me personally right now, I still got love for you, big dog. We appreciate you. We love you. You know, all Ravens fans, we love you. Ravens. Pay him his bread so we can really see this team. Please. Please. Let's make it happen. So, like, hopefully Lamar Jackson won't be. Like, now, after this picture, it seemed like Lamar Jackson won't be. To me, we out.